Now, if you had to do a random guess and try and figure out what the main source of emissions in Kenya is, for a lot of people, transport might come at the top of that list. But it actually isn't. You see, over 75% of Kenyan households still cook with either firewood or charcoal. So combine that to deforestation, and that accounts for the bulk of the country's greenhouse gas emissions. In fact, according to the Environment Ministry, the continued use of biomass for fuel also contributes to the estimated 14,000 Kenyans who die every year because of air pollution. CGTN's Panina Karibe went to Kitui County in eastern Kenya, where options for affordable, low-emission fuels are being explored. Kitui County in Kenya is known for its long dry spells. Categorized by the government as a semi-arid region, it receives little rainfall annually, which exposes the county to frequent droughts. But besides food insecurity, the county is battling another challenge, access to clean cooking energy. Mary Kate welcomes us to her home. She's preparing lunch for her family. As she settles into the kitchen, she explains to me the challenges she has encountered using firewood as her primary source of cooking energy. I used to use the three-stone firewood stove. We would walk very far looking for firewood. That was a big challenge. Secondly, I had to carry the firewood on my back. Besides that, there was the financial cost. She would buy a tree at a cost of roughly $5, then pay about $2 to have the tree chopped. Transportation of the wood to the house would cost $4. The firewood would last her four months, and the cycle would begin all over again. But it wasn't just her pocket that was dented. Her health and that of the children deteriorated. They suffered from constant headaches and other flu-like symptoms due to the frequent exposure to smoke. But Mary's story is not unique in this county. Sites such as this one are common as households struggle to access cooking energy. Kitui being semi-harried areas, livelihood options are very minimal. So most of the households went into charcoal production. Before the current regime 2017, Kitui was supplying Nairobi with charcoal. So a lot of uh, trees had been felled to produce charcoal. And then we realized that progressively, Firewood has become not very accessible. In 2014, Caritas, the development wing of the Catholic Church, stepped in. They trained local artisans on building the rocket stove, a permanent two burner cooker that was an improvement from the commonly used three stone firewood stove. And like the three stone stove, it uses less firewood and has proved popular with locals. It is currently being used in 18,000 households in Kitui County. But even though it lessens the burden of firewood, users such as Mary say it still exposes them to a lot of smoke. Mm -hmm. To address those concerns, Caritas launched a pilot program last month to provide electric pressure cookers to 36 households connected to the national grid. And for those without power, LPG was used as an alternative, while another 40 households received charcoal burning stoves named Jikokoa, a Kiswahili word that loosely translates to energy saving. For Mary, the charcoal burning stove has been a tremendous improvement on her life. This energy saving charcoal stove is good. It uses very little charcoal. It is also friendly to our pockets because we buy one bag of charcoal at $9 and that bag can last up to three to four months. Being connected to the national grid means Mary has another option, the electric pressure cooker. It uses very little electricity. During the training we had on how to use it, there was a man who told us he cooked chicken for 15 minutes and used 0.2 kilowatt hours. That's very cheap. I can't compare it to this electric cooker I was using before. It consumed a lot of electricity. It has become her favorite for various reasons. Her husband agrees with her. It has many advantages for me. These days I cook. Before, I could not do that because of the smoke and the heat produced by the firewood. But with a pressure cooker, I can even go and do other things and I will find the food ready. The comparative findings of the project have enlightened the community here on the benefits of using clean cooking energy. So that was a pilot project which we look forward to amplifying it across the county. And men are also getting now 
closer to cooking, which was previously thought it is a women agenda, but now men can also cook and serve their family. That bringing more love to the family, that is what we are saying these days. It's a humble beginning towards the use of clean energy, but a journey that has encouraged many here that it can indeed be done. Penina Karibe, CGTN, in Kitui County, Kenya.